Hello everyone, welcome to Gypsy Jazz Fridays, episode number 16. And in today's episode, we're gonna take a look at a solo that Django played on Honeysuckle Rose. Now this recording of Django playing Honeysuckle Rose is not very well known. In fact, I had never heard it. One of my patrons sent me a link and asked me if I could maybe take a look at that solo because he thought it was a really nice and tasteful solo. And I have to agree because when I heard it, I immediately started transcribing the solo. And I transcribed the whole solo, but for this lesson, I picked out five great licks. And then I have another five or six licks for a Patreon exclusive video. But let's get started with the licks that I chose for this video. This first phrase is a uh, iconic Django idea for major chord. And let me play it first and then I'll explain it. One, two, three, four. Now, you don't have to play it exactly like this. The main idea is to play the C minor, the C minor arpeggio or triad on top of F. And usually he, he does it something like this. You play a hammer on pull off from E flat to F. And then you can do the same thing from G to A. And then you can make just patterns with that idea. So what he plays here, or you make it longer, whatever you do. But the idea is, so first you play something on uh, C7, resolve to F, and then you play in the second bar of that F chord, you go to that C minor idea, and then you resolve back to F again. So you can only do it on a long one chord. So in the, in the case of Hans Rose, of course we have four bars of F, but uh, let's say we play coquette, then the first A, we have two bars of D, but the second A starts with two bars of D, so you have four bars of D, so you can do exactly the same thing uh, in D. So then you would be playing an A minor idea, right? So, so you have A7 to D, and then you play. What you're basically doing is you're turning that D, in this case, into a D7 chord, kind of like a bluesy feeling. And where we're in F, we're changing it to an F7 chord, an F7-9 chord, creating a bluesy feeling. Let's play it on top of the backing track. There's a backing track for Hans Rose on my channel, and there's a link to that backing track in the description. Really nice effect and it sounds very, very Django. Let's go to the next idea. Here we have an idea that Django uses a couple of times in the solo. And of course, go listen to the original solo. There's a link to the original recording in the description. And that is playing a minor six arpeggio, a half step up from a dominant chord. So in the case of Hans Rose, it's mostly C7. So you go half step up, that's D flat minor, and then you play D flat minor six. And Django really likes this fingering for that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we can also use that in the bridge. The bridge is F7. So a half step up from F7 would be G flat minor six. Or here. So let's use that idea both on C7 and on F7. Thank you. 
Here we have a, a really nice 251 for the bridge. The bridge is a 251 to B flat or a 51 to B flat. So you can either play C minor 7, F7, B flat, or you just play two bars F7. This phrase will uh, work in both situations. And it sounds like this one, two, three. One, two, three. It's pretty unusual to, to have this jump. And I'm not sure that Django is using these fingerings. Of course, he's playing with two fingers, but even if he uses the same uh, strings. But I always find my own fingerings that, that are comfortable for me, and the, these fingers are very comfortable for me. But I still have to make that big jump at the beginning, so I like to do one, one, four, one. Let's say we play it in the A part on top of uh, C7, then we would have to play it here. One, two, three. With a couple of open strings. So let's try it out in both situations. In this long phrase, some more iconic ideas from Django. I wrote it down as one lick, but it's actually several licks in a row. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So it's two systems, um, this is the second system. So at the beginning of the phrase, the C7 lick, this idea, that's a typical Django thing that he uses quite often, and you can basically keep repeating that pattern. So here he chooses to just play the first three of those patterns, and go back, and then Really great um, two five one lick, or actually a five one lick, and then we have this great idea for F. So he's playing F major seven up, G minor down. So he's basically thinking F, C seven, F, and on the C seven, then he's playing a G minor arpeggio. That works great, you can play it on any one chord that lasts at least three bars. Now you can also actually play this just on a 2-5-1, this, this phrase by itself would sound just great on a 2-5-1 if you start in the second bar. So in the bridge, I could actually just uh, start in the second bar, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then... So now I played the phrase in B flat and I can use that in the bridge. Probably also low. But I'll play it high uh, during the demonstration.
playing around a little bit with the lick, of course, you don't have to play it exactly like it's written down. Play around with it, change the rhythms, repeat some parts, leave some parts out. You know the drill. And the last lick is a great lick for a one chord, in this case, F6 or F major 7, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I changed it a little bit because on the recording, I think Django was playing something like stars maybe on the, the second beat. So three, four, one. Which is also nice, but I figured that mostly I'd be playing it like this. I'm just so um, used to playing a major seven arpeggio like that. I don't think it's an important difference because it's mostly about those last two bars. A typical jungle melodic phrase. It's got his DNA all over it. So let's play it on the backing track. And of course we can also play it in B flat if we play it here. played some of the other licks too. So there you go, five really nice melodic jungle licks that are not that difficult to play and uh, you could start using them immediately in a bunch of songs, not only Hunter Crows of course. If you want to learn five more of these phrases, you can join my Patreon. I will be making part two of this series this weekend. There's a link to my Patreon in the description and I will make the Patreon exclusive video for the $10 tier and up. If you like the videos, consider subscribing, like the video, press the bell icon, you know the drill. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.